Hi and hello to everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the single sided and double sided spectrum. What is a spectrum? Spectrum is nothing but the frequency. If you take any signal, it's definitely made up of frequencies. So if you can see what is the amplitude of the signal at a particular frequency, what is the phase of the signal at that particular frequency, then I can say I have plotted the spectrum. Okay, so spectrum gives the magnitude and the phase angle of each frequency component. Let us get into the lecture. So this is my X of T. X of T is made up of three components. One is 4, another is 5 cos 2 pi 10 to the power 3t plus pi by 2. The third component is 4 cos 2 pi 10 to the power 6t minus pi by 4. First, we will plot the single sided spectrum, then we will move into the double sided spectrum. So, if you look at it, what is the frequency present in this 4? It does not have any frequency, that I say it is a DC component. Okay, so the frequency is 0 hertz. Then, if you look at the second term, which is 5 cos 2 pi 10 to the power 3t plus pi by 2. Actually, what is this? This is my omega. This term is my omega, right. So, it is cos omega t, right. If you observe this, omega is equal to, in this case, it is 2 pi f. So, in our case, it is 2 pi 10 to the power 3. So, f is equal to 10 to the power 3 hertz. Okay. Similarly, you can see here, it is 2 pi f. So, f is 10 to the power 6 hertz. Okay. Right. So, what are the frequency component present in this signal x of t? We have a frequency component 0. Right. So, this is the x axis is your frequency. At 0, we have a component. Then, we have a component at 10 power 3 hertz. Then, we have a component at 10 to the power 6 hertz. Right. Then, what about the magnitude? The magnitude is 4. At 0 hertz, the magnitude is 4. At 10 to the power 3, the magnitude is 5. At 10 to the power 6, the magnitude is 7. Okay. This is called magnitude spectrum. Magnitude spectrum of the signal X of T. Right. Next, we move into the phase spectrum. What is a phase spectrum? What are the phase angles present at each frequency component? Right. At 0 hertz, we do not have any phase angle. But at 10 to the power 3 hertz, we have a phase angle of pi by 2. Pi by 2. Okay. At 10 to the power 6 hertz, we have a phase angle of minus pi by 4. Minus pi by 4. Right. So, if you, if you are able to plot the magnitude versus frequency, we say it is magnitude spectrum. Phase angle versus frequency, we say it is phase spectrum. Okay. This is the single sided spectrum. What is single sided spectrum? We have only the positive frequencies. Now, we will move into the double sided spectrum, which is very important and it is directly related with the Fourier transform. Okay. So, double sided spectrum is is widely used rather than the single sided spectrum. We are taking the same problem, right? In this, using Euler relation, you can you know what is an Euler relation, right? So, e power j omega t can be written as cos omega t plus j sin omega t, e power minus j omega t can write as cos omega t minus j sin omega t. So, if I can add these two, I can get this cos omega t is e power j omega t plus e power minus j omega t by 2. Similarly, if I can subtract these two equations, these two expressions, I will be getting this. Okay. Using that, I am rewriting, I can rewrite this cos omega t, this expression into this form. Similarly, this cos into this form. Then, I am, I am rewriting everything, right? You can pause the video and you can make a note. It is pi by 2. Then, e power j pi by 2. Writing it separately, e power j 2 pi 10 to the power 3 t. Okay. Right, I have I am rewriting this expression into this form. Now, if you can see this, um, what are the frequencies present? Yes, you can clearly see the frequency present in the first component. This is DC, where the frequency is zero hertz. 
then if you observe here it is e to the power j omega t okay this is j omega t so what is omega in this case omega is 2 pi f so f is 10 to the power 3 so the frequency in this component is 10 to the power 3 so similarly if you observe this is e power minus j omega t so the frequency in this component is minus 10 to the power 3 hertz okay similarly i can for this the frequency component is 10 to the power 6 hertz the frequency component in this term is 10 to the power minus 6 hertz okay right now first we are going to plot the magnitude spectrum what is the magnitude of the signal presented for the dc dc means zero frequency at zero the magnitude is 4 okay then what is the magnitude of the signal at 10 to the power 3 at 10 to the power 3 the magnitude is 5 by 2 this entire thing is a magnitude right so you see, see here uh, see the 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 component of frequency 10 power 3 hertz okay now I will you can write it separately here you see 5 by 2 e to the power j pi by 2 right okay so what is this uh, so this is this gives the magnitude and this is your phase angle phase right so the magnitude corresponding to the frequency 10 power 3 is 5 by 2 similarly the magnitude corresponding to the minus 10 by 3 minus 10 by 3 is 5 by 2 okay which is 2.5 right so now we can see here the magnitude corresponding to the frequency 10 power 6 is 7 by 2 okay it can be 3.5 okay i have done 7 by 2 similarly the magnitude corresponding to the frequency 10 to the power minus 6 is 7 by 2 okay this spectrum is called magnitude spectrum then what about the phase angle right if you look at the phase angle the dc component doesn't have any phase angle for zero the phase angle is zero okay we don't have any phase angle or else i can mark this here as zero degree or zero radians right next what is the phase angle corresponding to the frequency 10 power 3 10 power 3 the phase angle is j theta pi by 2 okay i have done here you can see here this is the phase angle pi by 2 what is the phase angle corresponding to the frequency minus uh, minus 10 to the power 3 it is minus pi by 2 you can see here it is at the frequency minus 10 cube i have written the, made the phase angle as minus pi by 2 similarly what is the phase angle corresponding to the frequency 10 power 6 the phase angle is minus pi by 3 minus pi by 3 okay Similarly, what is the frequency correspond for the phase angle corresponding to the frequency 10 to the power? It should be not uh, make a small correction here. It's minus 10 to the power 6 hertz. Okay. Minus 10 to the power 6 hertz. The phase angle corresponding is pi by 3. Okay. So this is the magnitude spectrum and this is the phase spectrum. And note that magnitude spectrum is always even symmetry. Even symmetry. What is even symmetry? Okay, you can see here, whatever present in the positive frequency, the same magnitude is present in the negative frequency. You can see here 10 power 3, the magnitude is 5, 5 by 2. Here it is at minus 10 power 3, it is still 5 by 2. 10 power 6 is 7 by 2, minus 10 power 6, it is 7 by 2. Okay, this is even, even on both the positive frequency and negative frequency. That's why we say it's even symmetry. The magnitude spectrum is always even symmetry. Then what about the phase spectrum? Phase spectrum is odd symmetry. What is odd symmetry? It is the opposite sign. Right? At 10 to the power 3, it is pi by 2. At minus 10 to the power 3, it is minus pi by 2. It's opposite. It's plus pi by 2, it's minus pi by 2. Okay. At the positive and negative, same frequency. Okay. At 10 power 6, it is minus pi by 3. At minus 10 power 6, it is plus pi by 3. So it's odd symmetry. Now, I wish... You can compare both the single sided and double sided spectrum okay I have minimized the screen right you can see here 
in a single sided spectrum we have only the positive frequencies right the magnitudes are 4 5 7 at 0 10 power 3 or 10 power 6 frequencies respectively here the magnitudes are 4 5 by 2 sound by 2 on the positive frequency minus 5 by 2 sound by 2 at the negative frequency okay so now we would have understood what is a double sided double sided means it is having both the positive and negative frequencies okay right next we do one more problem right this is another problem um you can see here it's this is the question right using the eulers we have seen the expression already cos is written like this sin is written like this okay and this 2j i am taking common layout then then i am splitting this e power j terms into these two terms okay right then then the important step i want to make here is 1 by j 1 by j can be written as minus j right minus j similarly minus 1 by j is plus j you can make a note then you can uh, you can pause the video and i am just rewriting everything right ultimately we are getting this expression okay from this what are the frequency components present yes you are right it is the dc component f is 0 here it is for this the frequency component is 10 square for this the frequency component is minus 10 square for this term the frequency component is 10 cube hertz for this the frequency component is minus minus 10 cube hertz okay right now you can understand what is the magnitude the magnitude at uh, 0 is 9 frequency 0 is 9 the magnitude at frequency 10 square is 3 by 2 the frequency uh, magnitude at the frequency minus 10 square minus 10 square hertz is 3 by 2 okay at 10 cube it is 7 by 2 at 10 cube it is 7 by 2 right then what about the phase angle you can see the phase angle for the dc there is no phase angle the angle is 0 i can make it like 0 radians then at 10 square we don't have any phase angle separately so it's still 0 radians at minus 10 square it's still 0 radians and here at 10 cube it is minus pi by 4 at 10 cube it is minus pi by 4 right then at uh, minus 10 cube it is plus pi by 4 okay right so again now uh, you can see the magnitude spectrum is even symmetry right and the phase spectrum is odd symmetry you can see here at uh, 10 cube hertz it is minus pi by 4 at minus 10 cube hertz it is plus pi by 4 it is odd symmetry okay now and uh, i want to make a point here you see here here this minus j you got we got minus j here right this minus j can be written as uh, angle of minus e power minus j pi by 2 so how we are writing that see here if you take any comp if you take the complex plane right okay this is 0 degree this is 90 this is 180 this is 270 or if you want to mention in radian scale it is pi by 2 radian it is pi radian it is 3 pi by 2 radian okay and uh, this is the real axis okay this is uh, this is the real this is minus real axis this is minus imaginary axis this is plus imaginary axis okay where is minus j you can see here minus j is here will be somewhere in this axis what is the corresponding angle corresponding angle is 270 or 3 pi by 2 or if you go in, if you go in the what i can say if you go are going in the clockwise direction it is minus pi by 2 i can write 3 pi by 2 as minus pi by 2 okay that's why uh, for minus j i am putting the angle as e power minus j pi by 2 
you can see here for plus j what would be plus j it's somewhere here okay this is the imaginary axis is your j right so it is plus pi by 2 so for plus j i have added e power j pi by 2 so uh, the phase angles can be added right so j pi by 2 minus j pi by 4 you get reduced to e power j pi by 4 similarly minus j pi by 2 uh, j pi by 4 gets these and two things get reduced to e power j minus j pi by 4 okay right and i wish you can practice these two questions right the solutions will is is given in the uh, answer is given in the description right wish you happy learning thanks for listening